Yo, what's up guys? A life siege. I haven't done a life siege video in ages, probably more than two, three years. Most of the time I pre-record siege and then I just go in. But I wanted to use Nikki and other um, showcases. So once again, not that hard of a siege. And let's right away get in, do siege the way how I do it most of the time when... Uh, I, I just try to get as many hits in as possible with the way that we have the new map. That's the only positive thing about the new map, that it's relatively easy to get a lot of hits in early. So try to just get as many hits in as possible. So I have a lot of presets. With those a lot of presets, I can get a lot of hits in most of the time. And we have this air horn alarm thingy in the Netherlands on the first of the month, which you might hear on the background right now, which is just going to be going off for a little bit. I live like literally right next to that thing. so. Might be noticeable to be picked up by the microphone. Let's go for the next hit right away. This one, okay, is already claimed by someone. This one we can definitely hit as well. Pretty much the same thing as the last hit. Uh, I would go for, let's go for you. Could this, do this one in a few ways. This is just the most typical teams that I like to use. Skill one over here, so we get the attack buff for... A hard hit on the hit later. I do think that this thing is unruined. So let's focus this on the left. I don't even think it really matters where you click that thing on. Just for the idea of it. If it did, then we we would have helped a little bit with that one. And then we just cleared once again. The thing should stop in like a few seconds. I really don't know if it's picked up by the mic. but uh, Annoying, 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 annoying. Maybe you guys hear absolutely nothing. That could be a thing. Uh, this one, could we hit this one as well? I th absolutely do think we can hit this one too. Uh, which way do we want to do it? Could go for Ian, could go for Snipe this way, could go for, let's just use this team. I think that this is the safest way of hitting it. Switching around the Robo. Or my Robo at other Robo. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, that's where that air horn alarm kind of thingy ended. Let's see, okay, let's hope that we strip both. So it's kind of important that you do strip both, otherwise things could go pretty bad on this team. Uh, this one, yes sir, let's go for this. And, yep, good amount of hits. Spread this thing. Easy spread. Uh, I do want to get you to the point where you would die, because you do have annoying stuff going for you if you don't. Okay, that wastes your skill, that is perfect. Make sure that it dies. That thing also uses the skill and then dies to the dots. Easy as hell. So let's move on to the next hit. Already did three. Let's see what else we can get hit in. Wait, why are these not, these not targeted? Normally these, the eight air and stuff is normally targeted as well. But we can easily go for uh, this thing. And I think we want to go for it, uh, which is the easiest way of hitting this. I want to use you, but is there maybe one that's easier to hit that way? I think we can actually do this. Let's do this one instead. Let's be a friendly guildy and remove the other reserve. A reserve removed this one. And let's go in. And we want to go for the Nikki team. And Nikki team, in this case, I will be using... I will be sniping out that thing, so I have to use this one to damage on a light. Just to make sure that I do kill it. Also have a good damage on light, so that helps out a good amount. Um, the other ones should be all fine and hitting enough. So let's see. Um, we protect this. We go for a skill 3. We go for uh, this skill. We do have 4 buffs. 4 buffs should do a good amount of damage to insta-kill that. That is nice. This might hurt a little bit on me, but that is still fine. Heal on that, please unproc. Thank you for not procking. Then the Nikki can go for a nice old cleanse. That is so much for healing coming in from there. That is definitely a thing. And uh, we just have to kill this thing before I die. I think I actually did do a good amount of damage. I think that we can just simply one-shot that as well. And yep, yeah, Nikki team prevails as well. Fairly easily. That is number four. Um, let's see, I'm not sure if the other towers... Okay, these towers are hittable right now as well. That's great, that's great. Uh, these I could hit in a bunch of ways as well. Wait, this is Volantis. Okay. Mm, if we want to hit these, I'm thinking about what is the easiest way of doing that. I think we can easily hit this one. 
making this a dev tank is pretty difficult because my Sonya does have a lot of um, additional stuff going up. So I think that should be fine. So let's just go for this one real quick. Demon Mars could be a little bit annoying towards the end, but mostly isn't. So most of the time, these things are not full full on defense. So it's an easy kill over there, easy kill over there. And then we put Oblivion on you, and we have an easy kill over there. Really easy, like I said. That, I think, is hit number five. Um, and then let's move on to the tens right now. Ten is hittable. Let's see what's in it. A uh, bunch of things. Oh, fuck. I was one second too late. I could have actually hit that. Let's see if, how about this one. This one is a little bit more tricky for what I have left over right now for my cleaves, actually. Oh, damn, it's also taken already. Is this one taken already? Um, let's just lock it, and then I'll figure out how I want to hit it in a second, because I could do this way, but it does have too much HP to do it that way, so that's probably not the right way. I can go for this thing and then just add in another water unit. I think that will be my way of doing this. Um, actually, just these two units would probably solo this whole thing. Well, maybe except you, but um, let's see what kind of final unit I would like to place in. I think this is a final unit. It's fine. I can keep a bunch of stuns in and stuff. So let's just go for that one. And we're six minutes in, and this is my hit number six. I think I'll keep you stunned as much as possible. Um, and then just see where it goes from there. Okay, can go for that skill, which is a little bit annoying. Let's see, let's see. Uh, we do want to get stunts on you. I actually should have stunned you because you will always be targeting that thing and therefore you are armor broken and the other things don't focus the... Uh, what's it called? The Belial. It's still early in the morning. Okay, we stunned that. That is fine. You're still armor broken, but you do switch the target. That's good. That's good. Uh, this is a low enough HP that you can just simply go for a kill. Like, the lower HP is really important, but if it's that much HP, it's still relatively easy for it to kill in most cases. Also, the, the thing that I was hitting was not super high on HP most of the time, because it did do decent damage with crit damage. Or at least with the skill, so I assume it was crit rate crit damage. An armor break, yes sir. Uh, this hit in, yes sir. And then most of the time I do like the final hits all the way at the end of the siege because that's where it's like the free uh, things to hit everything once again. So that's most of the time how I do uh, siege hits like about five, six hits at the start and then a few more hits all the way at the end. The few hits at the end I will just record like offline and then just add them in later. But this is how I do most of the time siege. I just have a whole bunch of presets. And with all of those presets, I can go in and hit a lot of stuff early on. And I try to get as many hits in early on as possible. And yeah, that's just uh, how I do Siege most of the time. So I do have a lot of too many of those LD pre-hits. So therefore, I don't always record it because it's kind of getting same old, same old. But showing them live as a hit and how fast I do them, I haven't done that yet. So that is kind of the showcase of this video. And I think that this is probably the last hit I can do right now. And after that, everything is, yeah, we're not allowed to hit these most of the times. Maybe if that one is one to hit many hits as well. This one is all targeted. That one is all targeted. That one is already taken. This is all targeted. And that's all targeted as well. So we were managing to do, um, I can show over here. We already did six hits. So that's a lot of hits getting in. So enjoy the last few hits. And guys, uh, thanks for watching. I was able to catch another hit while being still at my PC. So going in with the Feng Yang Alaya and good stuff. Um, this is mostly something like if the enemy is a full um, tank, then it could be kind of bad. But in most cases, it isn't really that bad. And then you just clear it from there. But it could be something tricky to Leo because uh, Siana in most cases does care a little bit less about those things. But let's see, he did remove the... Immunity didn't get armor break, so then it's still pretty much fine. So most of the time you just want to dehorse first, and after dehorsing, you just start killing something else, and then you just go back to the dehorse unit and kill it then. Simple as that. So yeah, pretty easy hit in most cases. I don't really think Siana does that great on defense. I've tried a bunch of defenses with Siana on defense. It is okayish for a Leo trap because her skill three doesn't really care about speed. Her S2 is speed scaling, but it's just the S2 that is speed scaling. So 
it all matters a little bit less for that unit to become a Leo trap. So it's good for Leo traps. Anything else, not that great. So therefore, can still hit it with Leo. To be honest, this Leo team is that well ruined that I mostly still hit it with, or like, yeah, it, I still hit Leo traps and I still mostly win. So if you want to see my uh, runes on my siege offense units, I have a different video for that. I will link that in the description down below where I showcase all of the runes of all of my siege hits as well. Not another hit while I was just ending the stream, so let's go for these. These are always the typical ones that I have to go for. A quick reruning, stealing one rune from a Odin, stealing one rune from you, having a little bit of a hiccup, and then this thing, and then we switch one rune over you, which is going to be a little fight rune, and then we're going to double check that you are damaged on wind which is the main thing well, in this case i would say almost attack increasing up would be probably better let's actually go for that because i do have one that has a combination with cd more and attack up because it could be that both of them are kind of tanky and stuff and then it could be a little bit bad well, let's see which one yeah it's this one it's with water but i yeah, can't have everything in life can't have everything in life plus on yuki's or not on yuki's uh the angels they're never that super crazy tanky they're without an hp lead at least because i do about but it could be minus life but what are the odds what are the odds let's see this thing seems pretty tanky okay it was not that tanky um so we boost over here and then we do a, a hit on the right the piercer 41k could have been tanky enough to survive that so for that reason i kind of like to go in with the attack up in this one and then we go for this one, and then we go for here. Well, it was actually the crit damage more, and then 66k over there. Yep, that's in most cases enough to kill without, or if they don't have any um, HP lead, then 66 is mostly enough. Like it's, it is possible for it to survive, but it's pretty darn rare. Okay, we're just gonna kill two lives because I don't have that skill. I don't have the piercer back yet because of that stun. But we have this, and then we have another hit from you coming back in. Yeet. Easy victories. Let's see if we can quickly hit another one in this tower because everyone's kind of slacking already. Nope. And the other towers will take a little bit more time. Uh, one more hit. Another Leo hit. A typical team. Wait, that Leo is not Delvermont. Well, don't really care. It was not Delvermont for a super long time. I do have enough Delvermonts where I could Delvermont it. Maybe the next Siege tournament I'll Delvermont it if I feel like it. But. Until now, it's never really disappointed me that much. Also, I just use it more as a tank than anything. It's not really a main damage dealer for me whatsoever. But I love this feature. This feature just makes it so nice to rock this team once again. Um, we have that thingy in the middle. I already forgot his name. Mugwang? I think Mugwang. But oh, it could be a Leo counter kind of thing. Could be, could be. Uh, let's see. I think I will use this for the sake of... Well, just getting more damage in that way. The dots will make it that he will be a little bit annoying, but... Okay, that is also a little bit annoying, I guess. Did not strip the armor break, but... If we kill already, like, one or two units, it should totally be fine. He does get a good amount of procs, though. That's definitely a thing. Is he gonna kill me on those procs? It's starting to feel a little bit like that. Well, we can proc a little bit as well, but we say goodbye to the Leo. That was a tank, but suddenly not as much of a tank. <laughs> okay, and those stunts and procs are definitely not helping either. Am I actually going to lose this? What? <laughs> Everything is also double turning pretty much. Okay, that is a lot. What? Can you... S what? What the fuck is this double proccing on everything? Okay, my uh, Feng Yang is looking at very low HP right now. But that thing took, like, double, triple turns every godforsaken turn so far, pretty much. Okay, that is the maximum amount that he can destroy, I guess. Can you maybe stop doing that? I think he's actually gonna die to it. I think he's low-key actually going to die to it right now. No, it's not enough. Okay, please proc back. Yikes. Can we stop getting incredibly crazy procced on? Holy shit, I've never seen... Wow! <laughs> that is the most amount of insane procs I've seen in a little bit. That was a really dumb lose. Holy shit. 
Okay, we're just gonna do this. And for you, is that actually fine? No, we would need more speed on it than that. Or is it actually kind of fine? That is kind of fine. You're also kind of fine. Would rather be a little bit more on damage, but I think we're all kind of fine. Let's just go with it. Could be a little bit bad, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. So first of all, everything is non well. Oh, that's a really nice start. Did miss two stunts. You're supposed to be a consistent stunner right now. But you chose not to be. Okay, that does help out a little bit. That missed not as much. Well, that does some good damage there. And that is a nice counter for you. And we're still proccing from the last round, it seems. <laughs> well, I was kind of lucky that everything was off will, but this is already end of the siege, so it kind of CBA, like how it's um, like to put a lot of strain into hitting shit ton of RNG. What happened to the RNGs all of a sudden, actually? That's, that's more the question. Uh, we should still be winning. We should still be winning. Also, all of my units are also vile, but they haven't seen as much vile potential so far. But we should be winning this. And then there's one more hit left, I think. It's always like the first few hits is like all zooming and nice. And then afterwards it gets like weird and wonky. That's, that's mainly how things do for me. We stun that. Nope. Okay, then we're gonna die. Are we going to get killed by this going 16 million turns right now? Is, is that how it's going to be? Because kind of the armor break was needed to do very well, but uh, can you stop doing that? We're getting too much HP back. At least we do have a destroy, but so does he. And if we don't land the glancing, and he's... I have both units on Vio, I'm pretty sure about that point. Okay, if we just keep the silences on, then we should be good to go for a little bit. At least we can drop in a bunch more damage and get some destroyed HP in, I guess. I hope. Okay, just keep in the silence rotation. Just get the silence rotation. Nope, he's rotating a lot more than we are. Okay, that's a good stun. Do we lap that? Increase cool time. That's good. Silence back at it. Great. Or was the monkey on the one despair? Or the... Yeah, no, the monkey was the one destroying HP. Another silence. Great silences. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Increase call time. That's good. <laughs> Both of them can increase call time. Just don't additional turn right now. Thank you. Slow. Also good. Silence. Great. Just don't proc on this. Thank you very much. Okay, that worked out. Wasn't the craziest of good matches, but did work out in the end. Oh, and that was my final hit already. I did get scammed in that one hit, but that's where all of my sieges and life sieges as of this case. Wait, he did go in, right? Yeah, he did lock it in. Oh. Guess it's good. Well, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this live siege. If you did, let me know. And see you as always in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more guides, join the Discord and check out the content tab, which has the dungeon guide archive and the video guide archive, which contains all of the guides that you need. Hope to see you there.